Now, going back to school is bittersweet for everyone involved. And one of the more bitter parts is going through the grind each week. Here with some tips to help keep you sane is professional organizer Jennifer Phelps. Jennifer, as always, you brought a nice spread of stuff yeah. because you're really going to help get us organized. And it really all starts with setting the skeleton for everyday life. That's exactly right. So um, everyone says, oh my gosh, it feels like it takes forever to get out of the house on a school day. And it's true. 80% of families take 20 minutes longer to get out the door on a school day than any other day. Wow. So what I say is instead of just yelling, 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 use the opportunity to teach children about time, for example. Mm -hmm. So for let them know what's expected of them. Post a daily routine. Morning and night routine and schedule is really helpful. For little ones especially, use a regular face clock so they can see the hands ticking time. They don't get it from a digital. They need to see the passing of time to understand. Use a clock and use color coding to tell them what they should be doing at each time. When they're little and they can't read, just do the same color coding, but put little pictures, you oh, know, when it's sweet. time to make the bed, when it's time to get dressed and brush their teeth. This helps them see what they're supposed to do. So you're not just yelling them about time and they don't have a concept. They're not developed yet to get that. Right. That's genius. It's, it's a visual representation. The fact is that even some grown people don't know how to read a clock. But if you teach your kids how to read it, and especially with a little color coding it, yeah. you're right, it gives them a really visual look at what's going on. Right, exactly. So the next thing we want to do is really getting the schedules in, mm -hmm. in line. So what's everybody doing? I like a good old wall calendar. This yeah. is where you create a family hub. This is where you put your calendars anywhere that's not just in your head. Okay, so you can do this with everybody's schedules on it. You can also, I have a quick um, whole year laminate dry erase so that you can see the whole year because nobody does month to month. Right. You know, the, when's the, any, anyway. Um, and then color code. Color code everything. Um, have an assigned color for each of your kids. That really, really helps on the calendar so you're all together on stuff. Well, technology, and we'll talk about that in a minute, certainly has its place in helping you get organized, but there's something to be said about having a concrete thing that's always on the mm -hmm. wall or always on the desk that people can that's refer right. back to. That's right, exactly. And that's why I say make a communications hub for your family, and that will relate to papers because it doesn't matter how technological we are, we get flooded with papers. <laughs> so True. kids are going to bring a ton of stuff home. If you have counter space and want to do a stacking thing, that's very nice. There are these decorative um, modular things you can put on the wall for kids. The point I'm saying here is they need to learn to give you their papers, their homework, all the things that need to be checked and put them in a place for you to see and read. This I happen to love. It hangs on the wall. It's you can color code each kid and show them what you can do. Yep, this is the coolest thing so, I've seen in a while. It's like a little collapsible drawer. Yeah, and mom and dad then can take it off the wall, take their glass of wine, sit on the couch, do the homework and stuff, <laughs> and check things after the kids are in bed. So Excellent. I really love that because it gets a color coding as well as the sorting and a comfort. Good for documents, good for the different, you know, types of classes that kids take. If you're yes. sorting it by class, That's it's really right. going to be helpful that way. But also, also good for grown-ups. Also Tax good time. for grown-ups. Agreed. Yeah. And then art, too. You uh, get flooded with artwork. Oh, my gosh. And so then you have that musty old, faded, 10-year-old piece <laughs> that's been on the fridge forever. Yeah. It's not special anymore. Right. But if you do this little idea, I've mentioned before, it's an awards and an art wall. You can do frames, spray paint them with a little wire or um, jute or something like that and make a little... Um, moving, changing gallery in the hallway. So creative. You can also just run a cord too and paper clip, I mean paper clip or clothespin pin mm -hmm. them so that rotation gets them celebrated but not that permanent uh, nobody notices it anymore syndrome. Well and it's, you're right, it's better than a fridge because it makes it more artistic. It really lets the kids be proud of what they've That's created. Right. They're adding to the artwork in your home. Incredible idea. It's, and then you can like do multiple kids. Yeah. So, yeah, Pinterest. <laughs> so you get multiple kids, everybody gets celebrated, yeah. but also they get the sense that things get to move through and as they grow and develop. Right, and like I was saying earlier, all these things are great concrete things that we can hang up on the wall, put on our desk. But technology, too, can mm -hmm. help keep everyone organized because everyone has That's a right. device. If you're all linked to like the same calendar, it's going to help exactly. big time. Well, one, where do you get all of these nifty ideas? Go to Google and Pinterest. Don't overwhelm yourself right. while you're trying to get organized. But you can download any of these routines and schedules to help your family and yeah. adapt them to your schedule. Google group calendar mm -hmm. gets your whole family's devices synced. So while you're at home and you've got these nice big visuals, all your devices, a kid has an activity event, they can enter it, and it's all the way across. It just populates across everybody's schedule. Smart so idea. dinner at grandma's, 
teenager doesn't go to for pizza, they're going to be at dinner at grandma's because you put it in. Anyway, so there you got it. Time and papers. Right. You set up those notifications. The kids aren't going to have an excuse. Oh, I totally forgot. But th <laughs> there's a bigger picture here that we're really yeah. looking at, and that is that you're setting the kids up with good habits for success, and you're getting them on the same page as you. That's right. And so sometimes we don't want to take the five minutes as parents to do a little system. Right. And then how much time do we spend every day having unpleasant interactions yeah. with our kids? And that's really what I want to avoid is the unpleasant interactions when you can really just take a little time to set things up and everybody can get along and get out the door on time. Right, which is a big challenge <laughs> for a, a lot of people. Challenge. You're minimizing the unpleasantness and you're that's really right. getting it to a place where everyone can agree. So Jennifer, if people want to get a little more from you, you don't just do this kind of stuff. What else do you do as, as a service? Well, I do um, organ Organized Design and Reinvent is my company, so I really help families and individuals, professionals get themselves, their home, their spaces, um, really to match their goals in life, and that's really what I do. And I'll have a blog on this with a bunch of links and all of that on my website, jenniferphelps.org for organized. Dot org for organized. Perfect. <laughs> you always bring the, the best ideas. You are like the walking Pinterest because you always that's bring right. such unique things. So Jennifer, as always, Thank thanks you. for joining us. You bet. Absolutely. Now, for more, even more organizing tips, log on to, like we said, Jennifer Phelps. Phelps.org or TucsonProfessionalOrganizers.org.